Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome to a very special video today. I had a request recently to talk about my favorite K-beauty products for mature skin. And I loved that idea. I'm so sorry I didn't write down who it was that requested it, but I loved that idea so much that that's going to be today's video. So a big thank you to the person who requested this video. As always, timestamps and links are in the description box below. And since this is a video of K-beauty, I will go ahead and share my discount codes at YesStyle and StyleVana. Of course, you can use those if you would like to get a discount on your order while helping to support this channel. Now, I do want to start out this video by saying kind of what my idea is going into this video. So in general with K-Beauty, I don't typically turn to K-Beauty for actives, although have you all noticed that we're starting to see more of these higher percentage actives from K-Beauty brands? But for example, we're not there with retinoids, and I do believe a retinoid is one of the best skincare products you can use for mature skin. Of course, the best place to go for that is your doctor for the strongest option, but you can also check out Geek and Gorgeous, who has some retinaldehyde serums. And personally, I do like to use a Western vitamin C serum. Vitamin C is an ingredient that you can use for hyperpigmentation or collagen boosting, but keep in mind if you want those benefits, you probably want to look for L-ascorbic acid. So let's start out this video. I just talked about some Western products that I would have in a routine for mature skin would and do. Where does Korean beauty come in? Some of you already know. Oh, we love our Korean sunscreens, don't we? With the new filters, the ones that just so frustratingly still aren't approved in the US. The sunscreen that I grabbed for today's video I think this might be my, I think this might be my favorite sunscreen. It is the Purito Daily Soft Touch Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus PA4 Plus. I received this through a Yes Style gift box. And from the first time I used it, I felt like it was nice. I do feel like sometimes there's a bit of repetition in Korean sunscreens. It's in a good way, but some of them, you know, there's not necessarily a ton of differences from one K-Beauty sunscreen to the next. And it just kind of felt a little samey. But by that exact same night, the very first time I ever removed this, I noticed that my skin was healthier by the evening. I feel like this is a sunscreen that doesn't just protect my skin from UV rays, but it also gives me additional skin benefits, and that's just not something I'm used to with sunscreens. I will happily take it though. What sets this apart is that it does use five different forms of ceramides. And see, as you get a bit older, you do lose certain things from your skin. You lose ceramides, you lose fatty acids, you lose lipids, but you gain life experience. Predictably, I will always throw you all a little bit of anti-anti-aging. Also, I'm right, <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> For as much as society pushes this getting older equals bad idea, if you were to ask me, Alice, do you want to wake up tomorrow and be 20 years old? Uh, no. No, thank you. I cried way too much at 20. I love where my mind is. I feel like in your 20s, it's easy to get stressed out over things that don't matter. You're much more balanced when you're a bit older. But it goes without saying that that is exactly why you might want a little more moisture, a little bit of heavier duty moisturizers, and uh, this sunscreen. This is a beautiful sunscreen that almost has kind of a, a, a moisturizer-like feel and the benefits of a moisturizer, and yet it's a, a sunscreen that isn't even just a regular sunscreen, it actually kind of sets on your skin. So I guess this is all to say, while I expected this to be not all that different, given that it's a fairly similar formula to the other sunscreens, other K-Beauty sunscreens on the market, in the end, it's really stood out for me and I, <laughs> I really like it. I do sometimes feel like I'm a bit predictable, so these next two, maybe these next three, might be on your bingo cards. Let's, uh... Let's get this one out of the way. <laughs> so the Monyo Bifida Biome Complex Ampoule, which I just reviewed recently. This is a product wherein the research shows a reduction in dryness and a reduction in skin sensitivity. And here's the thing. I know that saying, you know, this overall skin health is what you get from this product. I know that might not sound super appealing. 
What about hyperpigmentation? What about fine lines and wrinkles? But the thing is, in order to treat those kinds of issues, you have to have underlying healthy skin. Do keep in mind, like I said in my review video, in the research, it did take two months for the study participants to see the full benefit. So keep in mind, it might take a while, it did for me, but for me, it is so worth it. It is an incredible product. You know I have to include ginseng in this video. You know I do. Ginseng is one of those hero ingredients in Korean skincare and for such good reason. It addresses so many different concerns. We're talking about hyperpigmentation, collagen boosting, antioxidant activity, dryness. But I do think the catch with ginseng, and I always hate to say this, but I think the catch with ginseng is that if you really want to see maximum results from that ingredient, it will benefit you to look for the brands that are using the active components that are found within ginseng. Admittedly, this is where things start getting expensive. You can go with Suisu if you want to, and I know that some of you do because I still get requests to talk about much more expensive products but I get a little more requests to talk about not expensive products. <laughs> so by all means, Suisu is a wonderful brand. If you have the money for it, I love them. I can't afford them, but I love them. So for this video, I've decided to go with Doong Inbi, and I pulled out the Red Ginseng Daily Defense Essence EX. This is their serum product, so it is, of course, a very concentrated product. It is not too bad. It's not too bad in terms of the price point, usually around $70, but they do run good sales. Isn't it Prime Day? There's probably sales going on right now. So if you can't afford it, no biggie. There's other products out there, but if you can and you want to explore ginseng, I do think this is one of the best ginseng options that you can try. In a little bit more of me being very predictable, I've yet again pulled out the Hamish Marine Care Eye Cream. I feel like I have to go with this eye cream, even though I, I feel like I need to make sure I explain this one well. It's one of those where I think you might not like it initially, but the results are worth it, or at least for me they are. So this is a very occlusive eye cream. Occlusive meaning it's heavy, you're gonna feel it on your skin, but that's what I like about it. You see, again, as you get older, you do lose the ability to hold on to water within your skin. And that's why it's kind of assumed that you will move on to a little bit of heavier moisturizers and potentially heavier eye creams as well. The catch is the eye area can be kind of difficult. You can experience conditions like milia. And this is the same reason why some people find that they do need to use an eye cream, which is overall an optional product, but some people need to use it or they do deal with those kinds of issues. So to find such a heavy, hefty eye cream that doesn't cause me any kinds of issues, it is, it's wonderful. Also, since I opened this video by talking about retinoids, I will yet again say one of the reasons I love this so much is that I like to use it before I use my retinoid which I actually just demonstrated for you in last week's video. It's funny, this has been a favorite for a really long time for me. I remember initially hearing about it as a dupe for the La Mer eye cream, but I've been thinking about it and I don't see people talk about La Mer that much anymore. Have we all moved on from La Mer? Are there any La Mer fans watching this video today? Let me know in the comments. My next product pick might actually surprise some of you, but I'm really excited to have this pop up in a video again. So, I've been thinking about something very ironic with moisturizer. You know how I just said you may want to start using heavier moisturizers, especially if you deal with dryness. So you've got these dry skin types looking for heavy moisturizers, and yet, have you all noticed that a lot of these heavy moisturizers kind of make your skin look matte? Whereas in the conversations around Korean beauty, you know you're gonna hear about glass skin. And it's ironic to think that to get glass skin, a lot of the time we're using gels. Gels look a bit more glowy on the skin than a cream in general. You can offset it to some extent with emollient ingredients, but I, I was just thinking about how 
ironic, that is, truly ironic. And yet, one of the concerns that I hear about from a more mature group is often dullness. I will again reiterate, a retinoid is a great choice, but I've got a moisturizer pick for you, and it's a newer discovery to me, but one that I absolutely fell in love with. It is this right here from Thank You Farmer, the Pure Rice Gel and Cream. I bought this in a sampler set, so this is actually the one fluid ounce size, already a very generous mini, right? This is, you know, Elemis's full sizes. <laughs> it actually has a gel component and a cream component, and you have the ability to mix and match to your heart's desire. Do you want to look a bit more glowy? Do you want to get more of that cream effect? And it feels like no matter how that ratio goes, it still always gives your skin this immediate, beautiful glow, plus 10% rice extract, antioxidants, beta-glucan, ceramide ingredients, all in a fragrance-free formula. It is a, a beautiful moisturizer. It is so underrated. <laughs> and it is a little goes a long way product. So again, this one ounce size is what I've had for a while, but uh, I did buy <laughs> the full size and I cannot get over that this is 2.81 fluid ounces. This thing is huge. I do feel like overall I kept this video pretty affordable, even though I admit I contemplated including Suisu and SK2. I thought about it. But you see, I don't feel like you necessarily have to spend a lot on actual skincare products. I don't think you do. However, if you do want to splurge, you know I gotta include the Medicube devices. I grabbed the Eucera today. This one is the collagen boosting device. I love this thing. I, I absolutely love it. You know, I was gifted this by Medicube a while ago and yet none of my devices have died. They just keep going. It just keeps going, whereas if this was a cream, I would, I would be out of it by now. I use these multiple times a week. It's still funny to me that I got comments on my video from people saying they were surprised I kept using these. I only want PR that I will use. <laughs> What's the point of having a bunch of stuff in your house? I mean, my house is too small for it. Maybe some people have a lot of storage, I do not. But no, I've been using these for about a year and a half and I, I love them. I will say, uh, don't just rush out and buy this one, watch my video first. Sorry to send you off to another video if you haven't seen it already, but I do think it's important to make sure that you are picking the device for your needs. They have four different options, they're all a little different, they all target different needs. And you may or may not want the entire collection. I personally would repurchase three out of the four devices just based on my skin type. But I'd repurchase them if they break. And you know I've dropped these. You know my clumsy self has dropped these and yet they're still going. In my personal opinion, I do feel these are a better investment than a, a inexpensive one, than, than your La Mer. I feel like you get more from these than La Mer. La Mer's probably more expensive, isn't it? <laughs> it's probably more expensive than these. <laughs> but my friends, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Feel free to ask for any more requests. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you all next time.